Retail customer loyalty programs have been around for just about forever, whether it's discounts or points or free merchandise, but now a new company is exploring a new way of building customer loyalty through stock ownership. The company is bumped, and here to explain how it works is David Nelson. He's the founder and CEO. So we put up some points here about the basic points about your program, but explain it to us. How does it work? Yeah, so coming off, uh, coming out of the gates here, what we're doing is um, the consumer first links any debit cards or credit cards they have uh, in their wallet to the app. And once they do that, they choose the brands that they want to be loyal to, the brands that they love. So give some examples. What sorts of brands are we talking about? Yeah, so uh, home improvement category. You know who those players are, like folks like Home Depot and Lowe's. Um, and then coffee categories, uh, grocery categories, right? So it's really an opportunity for the consumer to choose, this is the brand I want to shop at. And then when they shop there with the linked credit cards and debit cards that they have, they start earning shares of stock, fractional shares of stock in those so companies. So I have to choose between, for example, Home Depot and Lowe's. I have to pick one of those, and that's the one where I'm going to go to. That's right. I mean, I think it's uh, paramount for people to understand that when they choose to shop with a brand, that's a vote of confidence for the future success of that brand. And I, I think so many of us, um, we just shop wherever's closest, or uh, we don't think about what the impact is of our decisions as far as where we shop. And I think if you bring a consumer into the mix and let them have a piece of it, let them have ownership interest in the company they shop at, they're going to think a little bit harder about uh, where they choose to spend their dollar. So I go into Home Depot, I go into Target or something like that, and I buy something for $20. Mm -hmm. That's not enough to buy a share of the stock necessarily. That's right. So what do I get for that? Yeah, so part of the brokerage, uh, the underlying broker-dealer that we put um, bump financial that sits behind this, we fractionalize everything. So, so you have your own broker dealer you created. That's right, exactly. And so we will um, buy shares uh, in aggregate, we'll fractionalize and journal those shares to the consumer um, so that they really own these shares. It's not like a pointer to a share or a virtual share. They actually own, even if fractional, even if 0.2 of a share, they actually own those shares. And if they choose to sell the shares, they can sell the shares. Can I sell it right away? You Do I can. have to hold it for some period of time? No, absolutely. I mean, you can sell the share uh, at any time, but interestingly, we've found that only 1% of people do. And I think that's been one of the really early interesting findings is I think people take a lot of pride in actually walking into a Target or walking into a Home Depot and feeling like that is their store. Who pays for it? Who pays so, for these shares that you're buying? So the brands are in this really interesting point in time where there's sort of a race to the bottom of price. And they're looking for ways to build authentic and real relationships with their consumer. And so you have this chance for the brands to build an affinity for the brand, um, and the brand is ultimately the one paying for that, right? The brand has options of, I can give discounts, I can give cash back, um, I can give gift cards, I can do all of these things um, to create affinity for my brand, but none of them really work. In fact, so many of them set a precedent of a lower price which is often brand tarnishing. So this is a, a way of not competing on prices in a sense. Uh, is that what this is really? So I'm not going to the bottom, racing to the bottom, because the other guy can compete with me on price. That's right. You want your customer to ultimately want to shop with you because they love the brand, because um, for reasons other than price. You don't want them walking into your store expecting the same discount that they got the last time they walked into your store if they come back. So uh, how, how much results have you got so far? How much can you tell us about what you know? Yeah, so we've been starting to launch this at scale. Um, anybody who wants to be a part of this, they can go to bump.com and get on the wait list. But right now, what ultimately uh, we're working with is a couple thousand people that we're putting in each week, and then we're measuring these results. And one of the major results we found is that um, people are getting about 58 cents uh, on average in stock reward. Um, they're getting roughly $10 a month with the initial brands, and that will change over the course of time as we add more brands and get this thing really going. So does that mean that like a company like Home Depot will then not offer as much discounting because they have this instead? Like, is there a trade-off in that sense? I think, you know, if you look at uh, online advertising versus offline advertising, there is a big shift, right? And I think brands are going to look at the data and how does this impact my consumer? And then it's really a repurposing of funds. Do I discount my brand? Do I give cash back? What are the ways that I decide to identify with my consumer and ultimately uh, reward and, and build affinity for my brand? So I think it's a shifting. Do you have any sense about when you're going to have full build out? You said you're adding 2,000 a week. Is that what you said, people? Yeah, we added two, a couple thousand last week, and, and it's really a data measurement exercise. So, right what now. scale for you do you anticipate yeah. looking out? Yeah, I think as we come out of pilot, um, at that point, once we know we can scale this thing, we'll, we'll unleash the hounds at that point, right? We'll let the brands really start talking about it. 
um, and pushing it out to their consumer. At the end of the day, this is really an equation of letting the brands um, tell their customer that they're, they're willing to make them a part of their overall story. And so I'm excited for that point where we go ahead and, and let, let, it, let it roll and let it go to everybody.